Welcome back to the channel. My name is Philip, and I'm a landscape photographer based in the Midwest and on this channel we talk about landscapes, nature, and traveling and how those go together. And in this video I'm going to show you how to get the most detail out of your photos by focus stacking. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump over into Lightroom. I'm in Lightroom and I have these two photos uh, selected. They look very similar, but if you notice, there is a slight difference in the focal points. So in this first image, I focused here on the background and in the second image, I focused here on the foreground. Uh, this photo was taken in Death Valley National Park in Badwater Basin. And one thing that I really liked about this area were these nice um, salt pillars uh, that get created. Um, if you want to know more detail about that, I'll go ahead and link my vlog to um, when I was in that area. Um, but anyways, so if you noticed uh, ever so slightly when I go back and forth between these photos, it shifts a little bit and that's something called focus breathing and we'll get into that in just a second. But um, I've already gone ahead and edited these photos for simplicity of this video. So now what? How do we get the focus from both of these photos applied to one image? So what we're going to do is we're going to hold shift and click on both photos so that they're both selected. We are then going to right click into our menu and go up to edit in and open as layers in Photoshop. And I've already done this um, to save us, our, save us some loading time. So I'm just going to go ahead over into Photoshop and I have my two images here that are ready to be focus stacked. So step one, I am going to select both of these image images. Again, that's shift and click on the images. Then I'm going to go up to edit. And then first I'm going to go down to auto align layers. Now the reason that you want to do that is what I hinted to earlier about the focus breathing. So focus breathing is a natural thing that happens when you change your focal point. Um, and because of that, it's shifting slightly the position of some of the elements in your photo. Now auto going in and auto align, auto aligning our layers is going to get rid of that. Now for me, you have your projection op options. You can play around with these, but eight times out of 10, uh, the auto, version works just fine. I go ahead and click down for the vignette removal and the geometric distortion down there in the lens correction and you can go ahead and press OK. Okay, so once both photographs have been aligned and that means again all of the lines are matching up so that they're the same so when the program goes to blend the focusing together everything will kind of match up nice and evenly. So with both photos still selected, we're gonna go down again to the edit and up to auto blend layers. And you'll see here that um, you have a few options, uh, panorama or stack images. For this example, we are going to be stacking these images. And we can leave these uh, two boxes checked and go ahead and press okay. Wait for Photoshop to do its thing. And uh, you'll see down here now, um, it's created these two new little smaller kind of uh, layers on here and you have the white and black and the black and white and what that's telling you is that it's used um, Photoshop software has automatically selected the pixels that are in focus in this image and you see here now that there is a merged um, file which has the both files merge into it obviously. Um, so what we're gonna do is just go ahead and press Control S once you've kind of like looked at the photo and everything kind of is just how you want it. And that's basically it. It's a very, very simple process. Uh, it doesn't really take a whole lot of time at all. And we've got a lot of great detail in this image. Okay, so after watching this video, I hope that you realize what an easy process that focus stacking is. With just a little preparation out in the field by taking a photo for the foreground and the background and then bringing those photos home and just after a few clicks in Lightroom and Photoshop, you can have some photos with some really amazing detail. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you have any comments about what you need to do out in the field or when you come back home to the computer, 
just drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you. And if you like this video and want to see more content like this in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.